How's it going everyone? This is Kevin. I just did one of these videos a second ago and got done with it and realized it was like 12 minutes long. So we're going to do this quicker this time. I'm just going to give you a rundown of all the stuff I got in my house. This is uh, Eiffel Tower, 4x4 four foot, four foot acrylic on canvas. Uh, cool stuff going on in the background. I did this with a palette knife, just random shades of gray and white. That turned out pretty good. And then we got this one here. Not really sure if I ever did name that. That's a 3x4 foot acrylic on canvas. One of my faves. Moving on, we've got uh, the one I just finished, the most recent painting I just did, Jim Morrison, four foot by four foot. Uh, a lot of detail on that guy, that was a lot of fun. Took forever. Underneath that, we got motocross, two foot by four foot, uh, acrylic on canvas. I built a little wooden frame for that. Painted that black, just to spice that up a little bit. Here's some of my materials that I use for my, uh, for my painting. This is the Hollywood sign I did forever ago. Acrylic on canvas with some heavy gels in the bottom there. I used spray paint for the spotlights. I think I used a silver paint pen, all sorts of good stuff for that. That's a two foot by four foot. Uh, this is Joker number three, must be, I think. I did two uh, four foot by four foot Jokers, and then I did this little guy just because such a cool image. But I put a bunch of, uh, it's hard to tell, a bunch of relief in this with heavy gels all over the thing. Did some stuff with the, you know, bleeding makeup. That turned out pretty good. That's a 30 by 30. Underneath that is the mask that the Joker wore in the bank robbery scene at the beginning of Dark Knight. Uh, that's a 30 by 40 acrylic on the canvas. One of my favorite pieces right there. Got Angelina Jolie. Uh, and this is the first one I did that had the, uh, the blended color background. I just did a bunch of really, really diluted acrylics and uh, I think I sprayed them on and they just blended perfectly. Uh, and then I put Angie over the top of that. This is uh, Stop Talking or Shush or one of those, I forget. But uh, this is a two by two version. I did another one of these uh, that I sold and then I just missed it. It was such a cool painting, I liked it. And uh, I put a glaze over the top of this one, if you can see. So it's a little shinier, uh, two by two. And here we got kind of a funny story for this one. I don't really know the name of this, but I think we called it Hopkins uh, because there was half of an Anthony Hopkins painting underneath that I just got so sick of working on because it was taking forever. And I uh, just really wasn't, I mean, whatever. I wasn't happy with it, so I just ended up just dumping a bunch of paint all over it. Uh, and ended up with these, uh, these cool gold scratches uh, underneath that I actually scratched on with my fingernails. Uh, and another good thing about this one is it looks, if you get real close, it kind of has like a wood grain pattern to it. Uh, everybody walks in thinks that's actually on a wooden panel. It's not, it's on canvas. And then I built a 3-inch deep frame for that guy. Next to that, we've got... Miss Marilyn Monroe with some uh, really cool iridescent gold for the hair and lips. Uh, this is a 36 by 36 acrylic on canvas and she's pretty. And we're going to go down here to Audrey Hepburn 36 by 48, 3 foot by 4 foot with the only other one that I have done the blended colors in the background so far. Uh, and that's pretty cool. I like that one. Turns out good. And then Smokey. It has Smokey forever. I think he might be the oldest painting that I have that I've done in here. I uh, did that one, I feel like, a year ago. And uh, it's a 4x4 four four, acrylic on canvas. Turned out really cool. And this is the most recent of the abstracts that I've done. This is Celestial. These are two 30x40-inch canvases put side-by-side. Side, makes a 30x80-inch canvas uh, or painting, whatever you want to call that. Uh, we got a whole lot of layers in this guy. This took for, this took for as far as uh, abstracts go, this took a long time. And, uh, and I was working really hard on this one. And uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Moving on, got a little one foot by one foot. This is kind of my inspiration for autumn, which is one of the four seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. These are pretty cool when you get up close on these. You can see the, uh, I mean, you can see when you move around it colors kind of come in and out. That's uh, that's summer. Lots of golds and reds and that. Autumn. And then this guy, you get real close. There's a bunch of pearl. You can see, you get really close, so you can see the blue in the, in the cracks. This is crackle paste, uh, as is this one. This is Scorched Earth from the second set of uh, four elements that I did. That's uh, water, air, phone ringing fire and earth but because I did a little bit different I changed them up added some different colors uh, this became scorched earth and 
dark fire and I forget for air and I think that was like ice water or something like that so these are pretty cool I got to show you this real fast because it just looked really great in the last video uh, when you back like this guy it does that and I'm gonna do a really big piece uh, I think I've just scorched earth uh, because that just turned out so cool and then I'll build a box for it so you can put lights in there and turn them on and off whenever you please uh, this is a uh, tree I don't know what I called this it's just a tree did some cool stuff I had uh, tin foil that I painted with a bunch of iridescent golds and, and bronzes and oranges and I did a pour of uh, iridescent gold over the top of the tree some texture inside and then I built the frame for it uh, and I got a couple more in the bedroom that I'm gonna pause and go into there so you don't see how messy the house is between here and there <laughs> be right back okay and this is car crash I think I called that car crash this is the first of the uh, splashy looking Jackson Pollock type abstracts that I did that turned out pretty cool that's a three foot by four foot right there um, a lot of fun. I like the red. The red turned out really cool. And then uh, we have Blood Money. I had another name for it that I don't remember uh, because I didn't want to call it Blood Money if I put it in like a family restaurant or something. I had another name, but that turned out really cool. The gold and the red mixed up really well. Uh, made a made a pretty cool image. Uh, and then we're gonna go these away. My, oh, this is my my family's lake, by the way, my mom. I think my mom made dad get up at 6 in the morning and take that picture. Turned out really cool. My katana. Don't mess with artists. Uh, most interesting man. 30 by 40, that's commissioned piece. And then uh, last one I think that I have is this right here, which is, um, I don't remember the name, same as the other one. It's the same image, but it does that when you backlight it. So normally looks like this I can't really see much just the silhouette and then you backlight it and that's when the image comes out and you can see what's going on underneath so another one of those that I need to build a box for uh, so that you can flick that on and off when you feel like turned off when uh, mom and dad come over to visit uh, I think that's it for paintings I'll show you real fast I'll show you my uh, <laughs> studio I guess you could call this this is where I try really hard to not get paint all over the carpet but obviously it doesn't always go as planned uh, I got a bunch of canvases left I got a couple three by fours and then I got a couple 60 by 40s that uh, I'm gonna do some pretty cool stuff with here pretty soon some smaller ones so got a lot coming so pay attention that's that thanks for watching see you guys later